Welcome to another exciting day here at Buncombe County Middle College, Early College. And we're going to start the day with solving absolute value inequalities uh, graphically. And this should be a short video that displays that. So the statement over here in yellow says g of x equals the 2 absolute value x plus 5 minus 1. And we want to know when is g of x greater than three and we're going to do this graphically through desmos so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to start by go ahead and typing in two absolute value of x plus five minus one and we can go ahead and call that g of x if you would like to and i'm going to put in that one statement g of x equals two absolute value of x plus five minus one then what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a different statement Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write this statement over here. I'm gonna type this one in, which is g of x is greater than three. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna type that in. g of x is greater than three. Okay. And once we have that information, we kind of see a couple of things. This is one way of doing it, okay? Notice that the shading is over here on the right hand side in this direction and that the shading is going in that direction, okay? Um, what that is showing us is where the graph is greater than three. Another way of looking at this is to say, okay, well, instead of writing it this way, I could also write y equals to three, okay? And what you're gonna see is it's showing this graph, right there's the three line, that blue line is the three line. And what you're also seeing is exactly where it is above it. It's above it right here, okay? And it is above it right there in that direction. So what we're gonna to do to do this graphically is we're gonna start by finding the intersections, which is at negative three, x equals negative three, okay? And then also we had the other intersection, which was negative seven. And so I'm gonna go ahead and circle them and say, okay, negative three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and circle this one at negative seven. And now notice what happens. Out here, way, way out here towards infinity, this graph is still going way up. Way, way down here at negative infinity, this graph is still going up. Okay, this bad infinity. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, well, the solution must be, and notice this, there's no equals, so this is an undefined, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and say, real quickly, let me get that off my screen. I'm gonna say, well, in order to write this, I'm gonna say the answer must be negative three comma infinity, it should also be negative seven, and I'm gonna put a negative infinity first, because that's, and then I'm gonna put this or right there, that just means or. So we're saying that the solution set goes from negative infinity to negative seven, it does not include negative seven because there's no equal sign. It picks back up at negative three and it goes all the way to uh, infinity um, and it will keep growing until then. Hope that helps.